But the children of Israel did wrong about the cursed thing, for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the family of Judah, took of the cursed thing, moving the Lord to wrath against the children of Israel. Now Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is by the side of Bethaven, on the east side of Bethel, and said to them, Go up and make a search through the land. And the men went up and saw how Ai was placed. Then they came back to Joshua and said to him, Do not send all the people up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and make an attack on Ai. There is no need for all the people to be tired with the journey there, for it is only a small town. So about three thousand of the people went up, and were sent in flight by the men of Ai. The men of Ai put to death about thirty-six of them, driving them from before the town as far as the stoneworks, and overcoming them on the way down. And the hearts of the people became like water. Then Joshua, in great grief, went down on the earth before the ark of the Lord till the evening, and all the chiefs of Israel with him, and they put dust on their heads. And Joshua said, O Lord God, why have you taken us over Jordan only to give us up into the hands of the Amorites for our destruction? If only it had been enough for us to keep on the other side of Jordan. O Lord, what am I to say now that Israel had given way before their attackers? For when the news comes to the Canaanites and all the people of the land, they will come up, shutting us in and cutting off our name from the earth. And what will you do for the honor of your great name? Then the Lord said to Joshua, Get up. What are you doing with your face to the earth? Israel has done wrong. Sinning against the agreement which I made with them, they have even taken of the cursed thing. Acting falsely like thieves they have put it among their goods. For this reason the children of Israel have given way, turning their backs in flight before their attackers. Because they are cursed, I will no longer be with you, if you do not put the cursed thing away from among you. Up, make the people holy. Said to them, Make yourselves holy before tomorrow, for the Lord. The God of Israel, has said, There is a cursed thing among you, O Israel, and you will give way before your attackers in the fight till the cursed thing has been taken away from among you. So in the morning you are to come near, tribe by tribe. And the tribe marked out by the Lord is to come near, family by family. And the family marked out by the Lord is to come near, house by house. And the house marked out by the Lord is to come near, man by man. Then the man who is taken with the cursed thing is to be burned with everything which is his, because he has gone against the agreement of the Lord and has done an act of shame in Israel. So Joshua got up early in the morning, and made Israel come before him by their tribes. And the tribe of Judah was taken, then he made Judah come forward, and the family of the Zerahites was taken. And he made the family of the Zerahites come forward man by man, and Zabdi was taken. Then the house of Zabdi came forward man by man, and Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. And Joshua said to Achan, My son, give glory and praise to the Lord, the God of Israel. Give me word now of what you have done, and keep nothing back from me. And Achan, answering, said to Joshua, Truly I have done wrong against the Lord, the God of Israel. And this is what I have done, when I saw among their goods a fair robe of Babylon and two hundred shekels of silver, and a mass of gold, fifty shekels in weight, I was overcome by desire and took them. And they are put away in the earth in my tent, and the silver is under it. So Joshua sent men quickly, and looking in his tent, they saw where the robe had been put away secretly with the silver under it. And they took them from the tent and came back with them to Joshua and the children of Israel, and put them before the Lord. Then Joshua and all Israel took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the robe and the mass of gold, and his sons and his daughters and his oxen and his asses and his sheep and his tent and everything he had. And they took them up into the valley of Achah. And Joshua said, Why have you been a cause of trouble to us? Today the Lord will send trouble on you. And all Israel took part in stoning him. They had him stoned to death and then burned with fire. And over him they put a great mass of stones, which is there to this day. Then the heat of the Lord's wrath was turned away. So that place was named, the valley of Achah, to this day.